me just go to what Scott G had to say here first. Is uh, he said, okay, a few things to clear up some. Um, and for those of you who aren't on Discord, this might be um, beneficial for you. But Scott G says, a few things to clear up some misconceptions I've read today. Number one, our team has a lot of expertise making plastic minis. Matt Hira was a core designer on the World of Warcraft minis game. Those are nice minis too. Uh, Leisha, mm -hmm. our director of operations, head, headed up manufacturing and is one of the most experienced people in the industry when it comes to plastics with over 20 years experience. I am no slouch either. Number two, pre-painted does not have a cost, or I mean, pre, sorry, let me say that again. Pre-painted does have a cost, but it's not double or 50% more than unpainted. More right. around 10 to 15% more, and we think provides excellent value and makes the game much more appealing to many more players. Number three, the price points we are working on look very competitive to what other similar games are being sold for that are unpainted and print painted. Going painted also saves gamers money on paints as well as just being more accessible. Our goal is to grow the player base as large as possible. And then, there, let me get to and that. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I know, I know you guys are on your seat, but let me just hear. Wait, let me. I know. No, I no, these that, kind of mixed that, up. Uh, that line specifically was yeah. what we were mentioning earlier was the intention is to get as many new players as possible. Yeah. Right. Um, and then the next point Renegade not being able to get games in store. This is pretty silly. We ship hundreds of thousands of games into game stores <laughs> around the world every year. Don't worry about your local store being able to stock HeroScape. They can easily get it if they want it. Um, next point, shipping and logistics are back to normal as far as times and backlogs. And then uh, the next point, factories. We only make our products in certified factories. The inspections these have to go through are rigorous. I would bet most places you work couldn't pass them. Leisha and I have personally visited the factories we use. The factory that will be producing HeroScape is a long-standing factory for Hasbro with decades of experience. They actually made some of the HeroScape from the past and have a lot of knowledge about the oh. line themselves. I missed that part. Mm -hmm. And then he finishes by saying, I hope that helps clear some stuff up and keep the discussion going in the right direction you are all are great and we all really appreciate the enthusiasm you all have we're making this game because we love it too in march we'll be able to reveal all of wave one so so that's it so and anything you guys want to say from that before uh, we move on to uh, what jason has for us on this I did ask just to confirm, uh, mm -hmm. and they replied back that it's not pre-colored like Source has. You know, right. Source isn't technically right. painted. Yeah, there's a difference between pre-painted and pre-colored, right? So it's pre-painted, so that means it's actually kind of, uh, it's not like a run-through machine. and So mm -hmm. it, it's different, but it's not it's not bad. It's mm -hmm. really worn out once better or right. worse, but it's definitely something that's like, oh, okay, so there's people producing these so it might right. actually look and feel a lot like the original Heroescape then at that point sure and so yeah. source source is doing like a different type of technology when it comes to pre-colored but we'll, right. we'll, well then we'll talk about that in a little bit um so I, yeah I go think ahead that, the last comment there about the certified factories is probably also a response to the often tossed around chinese slave labor comments when it comes to right. pre-painted yeah. pictures yeah. so that was I a big thing curious. last year I'd be curious to know what that certification is because I exactly. wouldn't trust the factory to certify itself. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you know, if Hasbro is actually doing the certification themselves, that's probably yeah. pretty good. Hopefully, right. good. But enough. they're not. I mean, I don't think people are dying to paint our, our paint the miniatures. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's been history of those factories. I know, <laughs> I know, but that that not is not saying I it's been the accusation about Renegade, but there's been some really horrific atrocities in China when it comes to yes. labor and manufacturing. Oh, right, so. we could we could have a podcast, and that, on and that, that was a big. That's part a of different it, subject dude. altogether. <laughs> that's a different topic altogether. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, the pre the pre painted discussion, and that was that was why like last year, you know, everybody who had overheard about the new Heroescape, and they asked, they're like, "Will it be pre painted?" And then they heard no, and they were like, 
well, I don't want it then. Then it's not Hero Escape, that kind of stuff. I think it's really important that we should take, like, just grab what we're seeing right now and see that Renegade has decided to answer that conflict from last year by mm -hmm. brokering a contract to get this proof painted. And that, that in gen just overall, you know, personal feelings for each person put to the side, I think that's a huge step in terms of, like, engaging with the community. Because, yeah, there was a lot of voices about saying, like, I remember it being such a big <laughs> thing last year. Oh my gosh, I'm not playing this because it's unpainted. And it's like, or I won't be able to paint my characters. And then it's like, well, you know, you can ask someone to do it for you. And they're like, but I don't want to spend the money. And I'll, and there was just this ongoing discussion. And, and I remember just being a big thing for every single, it was like, why aren't they painted? Why aren't they painted? Renegade has found the answer. And they are, and they have taken the extra time to, to help with our concerns and be like, look, we're not just doing, you know, we're not going back to how it was back in the day that had, you know, uh, ethical questions involved. Like this is a serious, uh, you know, certified business process that we will be getting these miniatures. And yes, it'll increase the price, but it's not going to be as bad as you think.